dear students now we have discussed the magnetic separations what is magnetic separation magnetic separation means we have to separate the magnetic material from the non magnetic materials in this section we have to discuss how we have to separate the magnetic mineral from the non magnetic minerals we have known that first we have to take the mineral from the mines after that we have to cross the grinding to minerals into small pieces so that we can <coughs> disintegrate the mineral into small pieces that this integration helps to separate the mineral which contain high amount of metals and we from the minerals which contain less amount of metals so in this chapter we are using the property of magnetic flux then we have no discuss what are the different types of magnetic minerals so then according to the property of the minerals the magnetic minerals are classified into three types that is the ferromagnetic minerals paramagnetic minerals and the diamagnetic minerals next we discuss what is the ferromagnetic minerals the minerals or the magnetic minerals which are strongly attracted by the magnet and also it behaves like a temporary magnet and that is called ferromagnetic minerals and the examples of ferromagnetic minerals are magnetite pyrotite etc and the second type magnetic minerals are paramagnetic minerals these minerals are very weakly attracted by the magnet and also the sometimes these are not attracted by also magnet and the examples of this type of minerals are hematite limonite etc and the third one that is the last one is the diamagnetic minerals this is also called the non magnetic minerals that means the mineral which are not attracted by the magnet and these are practically non magnetic minerals the these minerals are repelled by a magnetic field along the lines of forces where the magnetic field intensity is smaller and the examples of this type of minerals are quartz calcite etc next we have to discuss the magnetic separator then what is magnetic separators the magnetic separator means the separator or the instrument which separate the magnetic particles from the non magnetic particles by using the magnetic property of the minerals and the magnetic separators can be classified into various types depending upon the various basis the first classification is on the basis of magnetic separator shapes that means the shape of the magnetic separators the what is the shape of the magnetic separator on the this basis 
the magnet separator can be classified into various types such as a drum magnet separator, pulley magnet separator, dish magnet separator, etc. The drum magnet separator is a magnetic separator whose shape is just like a drum shape. That is why it is called drum magnetic separator. And the pulley magnet separator means the magnet separator, shape of the magnet separator is just like a pulley. That is why it is called a pulley magnetic separator. Similarly, the disc magnet separator shape is just like a disc. And the second classification is based on the magnetic flux density we have used. On this basis, the magnetic separator is classified into two types. One is low intensity magnetic separator and second one is high intensity magnetic separator. Then what is low intensity magnetic separators? Here we are using the low magnetic flux density and in this magnet separator we can separate the high magnetic materials from the low intensity magnetic materials. For example, we can separate the magnetite minerals from the hematite minerals. Similarly, high intensity magnet separator means we are using the magnetic high magnetic flux density. In this case, we are high intensity magnetic intensity means we are using very high magnetic power magnets. That means we can separate very low magnetic materials from the non-magnetic materials. Then the third one is on the basis of medium of separation. That means the whether the medium is it dry or wet. In other words, what is the state of minerals which are used to separate to separate. On this basis, we can classify the magnetic separator into two types that is the dry magnetic separator and wet magnetic separators. What is dry magnetic separator? Dry magnetic separator means we are using the magnetic minerals in a dry conditions. That means the minerals are in the dry conditions. So when we are using the minerals in a dry conditions, that in that case we are, it is called dry magnetic separators. Similarly, when we are using the minerals in a wet condition, that means the minerals are mixed with water or chemical or some chemical. We are, we are or some chemicals and make the minerals in a pulp. That means the minerals are in very, very fine size. In that case, we are using the pulp and that pulp is separate by a magnet separator that is called weight magnetic separators. This is the all about the classification of magnetic separators. Next, we have discussed the one type of magnet separator that is the low intensity dry magnetic separators. So, in this separator, we are using generally the minerals in a dry conditions. That means it is in the dry state. No moisture is present in minerals. So here we are using 
हाई टू सेपरेट हाईली मैग्नेटिक पार्टिकल्स दैट मीन्स मैग्नेटाइट एंड ट्रैप आयरन फ्रॉम द नॉन मेटालिक्स इन दिस सेपरेटर द ओर इज ट्रैवलिंग इन ए एंडलेस कन्वेयर बेल्ट पासिंग ओवर ए मैग्नेटिक पुली एंड द नॉन मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल्स आर फॉलिंग डाउन एंड द मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल्स आर अटैच टू द बेल्ट एंड द मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल्स व्हिच आर अटैच टू द बेल्ट इट लीव्स द पुली बाय ए सम बाय ए ब्रश एंड द नॉन मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल्स व्हिच आर नॉट अट्रैक्टेड द मैग्नेट that will fall down due to the gravity or the gravitational force the figure of this separator just like this this there are two types of separator one is your pulley magnetic separator and another is drum magnetic separators the right side figure is the drum magnetic separator and the left side figure is the pulley magnetic separator so in this case by in the drum magnetic separator you have seen the magnets are arranged in a such way that the opposite poles are conjugative that means in one magnet north pole and another magnet is south pole in this way the magnets are arranged inside the drum and the magnets are half filled of the drum that means they are filled the drum by the magnet half way and similarly in case of pulley magnet separator we are also using the magnetic pulley the or which is feed in both cases are shown in the figures the magnetic particles which are attached to the drum or belt that is scrap that is removed by a brush and the magnetic materials which are not attracted by the magnet or that is not attached to the drum that is fall down by the gravitational force that means it is fall away from the drum so in both cases that is the pulley magnet separator and the drum magnet separator the magnetic materials the falls near to the machines and the non magnetic materials away from the machines so this is all about the low dense intensity magnetic separators next is is your ball norton magnetic separator or it is called low intensity weight magnetic separators so in this case what we have done now we are using the pulp that means mixture of minerals and waters so in this separator we are using the rotating drums the drum may be one or two if it is using one drum then it is called one drum low intensity magnetic separator if it is two drum it is called two drum low intensity weight magnetic separator this separator or this magnetic separator is widely used for concentrating concentrating of low grade magnetite ore this separator consists of one to two rotating drums 
of non magnetic metals that means the drum is made of non magnetic metals in the drum a number of fixed magnets are arranged in such way that the conjugative poles are opposite in nature just like the your dry magnetic separator that means if one pole is north then nearer to to this another magnet are arranged that pole is south pole so the two conjugative poles are north and south that means two opposite poles are nearer to each other so most of the magnetic field are passes directly from one pole to other inside the drum and thereby posted but n of flux lines are come out of the drum to attract and hold the magnetic particles strongly the particles which are magnetic that is stick to the surface of drum stick means that is attached to the surface of the drum and travel along with the periphery then the non magnetic materials which are not attracted by the drum that is falls down away from the machines and that is using the gravitational force and the magnetic particles which are stick or attach to the surface of the drum that will be removed from the drum by the help of scraper or that is one type of brush which is used to remove or to scrap off from the surface of a drum the the magnetic materials just fall off nearer to the drum that means it is falls to the very nearer to the separators and the non magnetic materials which falls down away from the separators in if you we are using the true drum separator then the second drum revolves at a higher speed and has weaker magnet inside it from the feed both highly both highly magnetic and weakly magnetic particles are get stuck to the surface of the drum in the first compartment while the non magnetic particles are just removed as a tailings that means tailing means this is the not used particles that means one type of impurities both weakly and highly magnetic particles travel along the surface of the first drum they brought to a place on the surface on the surface where is no magnet site at the place they are attracted by the magnet present in the second drum facing them and shift to the surface of the second drum place in the next compartment that means the output or the telling of the first drum is the feed of the second drum this compartment con only strongly magnetic particles stick to the drum surface and get collected as a concentrate while the weakly magnetic particles are collected at the middle use of two drums separate the feed into three types of product that is concentrate telling 
and middling. So there are three types of product we have to get in two drum separator. While in case of one drum separator, we are getting only two types of product that the concentrate and a telling. Next, this is the figure of single drum weight magnet separator. So we have seen the magnetic particles which are separate by the magnet in this way and the water is spray along the surface of the drum and this is the rotating drum and the feed is also you have seen the feed this completes your magnetic separator.